Hello, so in this video we will talk about, uh, we'll start talking about uh, uh, Turing machines and uh, as usual let's start with the definition. So a Turing machine T is composed of these four things. We have a set of states, we have an input symbol, we have a mapping and we have a starting state. So what is the difference between uh, this and a finite state automaton? There is no, uh, there's no finite final set, right? So this is the first different, difference. So then S is a finite set of states, I is the input alphabet and the another difference is that is also consist of a blank symbol which is uh, usually B. And it is, uh, it, there's a function, uh, there's a mapping F which is a partial function from uh, you know S cross I to S cross I to a direction. So this R refers to right and L left refers to left here. Okay, And S0 is the starting state. So what is a partial function? So, the only, so if I say f a to b so what is if f is a partial function what it means is that the domain of f that is the only place where f is defined so the domain of f is a right so any number uh, any not number any element which is not in a f is not defined for that okay so for our purpose we only need to know that okay and for a Turing machine we also have a tape that is infinite in both ends but has only a finite number of cells visible at one given time instant or state okay so we will say we can also say instant of time okay and then content of each cell is an element of our input symbol okay and this partial function defines the transition rules okay so then what are the transition rules we say that for each state input pair so we for example we have the state s and input x then if we apply the mapping f on this pair then we get a next state and we get a next you know a next symbol and then we get a direction okay where d is either right or left okay and then this five tuple s x s star, s dash x dash and d this define the following operations through a control unit so what do we do when we have this kind of five tuple it means that we enter into s star then we replace the content of the current cell from x by x dash so then because remember this is our starting place so then x is replaced by x dash at the current cell and then we move one cell to the right depending on if d is equal to is r and we can move left if d is equal to l okay and the halting condition is when there is no five tuple exists for a given s x pair so for example if we have defined uh, we, we don't find a definition for a given s x and we have reached that place that is the place we stop okay and the starting state is s0 and the tape the starting place of the tape is that leftmost non-blank cell okay non-blank means that not equal to b remember i has b so b is a member of i so whenever we find a non-blank cell there is that's the that's where we start and if all cells are blank the choice of initial cell is arbitrary we can we can start with anyone okay now a turing machine we can find an alternate definition of a turing machine by setting by describing the uh, five tuples okay so a set of five tuples also define the Turing machines machine completely okay okay so now let's see some examples here okay so we have this Turing machine which is defined by this set of six five tuples and we have this is the initial position of the visible tape okay so where do we start we start here and what is our starting state our starting state is always s0 so we have s0 here okay so this means I have s0 and 0 as the current si pair okay so I have to find s0 0 here so s0 0 is this guy so this means I move to the right and I replace this 0 by 1 and my next state is s1 so this means so this means let me change the color here This means that I move to the right and I have S1 and then I change this to 1. 
right so now I am here so now I, I check s1 and 0 so s1 and 0 is this guy here so this means s1 and 0 then I move to s2 and then I have to move to left so this means I go back here let me change the color again so I move back here so this guy again this guy and then s2 and then what do I do I have to change this 0 to 1 this 0 to 1 okay now I am here s2 and 1 but s2 and 1 is not defined here so I stop here so this means that this is my final situation here 1 1 1 1 B B so then you can just make them you know look like cells So this is the situation for if we have if we had this initial condition b b 0 0 1 1 b b then this Turing machine will make this tape look like this. So we can also say the non-blank part portion of the tape looks like 1 1 1 1. Okay. So let's see another example here. So now we have this condition. Do we see any non-blank symbol? No. So we can start anywhere. So let's say I, I wish to start here. So we have S0 here. So what, what is our condition? S0B. So S0B, this is what I have to check. So S0B, we have to move right, change this B to 0, and my next state is S1. So this is my S1. This is my 0 now. And then I am here. Now I have to check S1B. So S1B is here. So I move to the left change this to 0 again because of this 0 and then this is my s2 here now I have s2 0 do I see any s2 0 no there is no s2 0 so this means my machine halts here so my final situation is b b b b 0 0 b b so in other words what does this Turing machine do it changes two blanks into zero zeros and it does not does not touch any other blanks okay so this was a you know and so the small introduction about Turing machines the definition and along with some examples and how does it operate and you know how how can we describe it using uh, a set of five tuples and you know given a starting uh, a tape condition what will be the final tape conditions uh, if that Turing machine is applied on it okay so uh, that's it for this video. Hope it was easy to understand and thanks for watching. Hope you liked the video